Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another AliExpress haul. This is stuff that I just recently got. And like I said in my previous video, I'm going to be sharing these more often as I get them so that I can put them away and use them. <laughs> and of course she liked to say hello. Okay, so I have a few embellishments, a few bows, um, some dyes. So I'm going to start with the stuff that are not dyes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's like right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this with her here. <laughs> so sorry. So first thing I have are these frosted polka dot bags. I thought these would be really cute for Happy Mail just to gift, you know, little things to my partners and there are, I can't remember, I think there's like a hundred pieces in here. And they are self-sealable as well. I don't know if you can see that. I just really love this frosted look. It kind of reminds me of vellum a little bit. Super pretty. And as always, I will put links down to these uh, as long as they're still available. So next I bought a bunch of these bows. I love these bows. I first saw these bows in Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think it was during Valentine's. And then I think they had some for Halloween. I might be wrong, but I absolutely love the shape of these bows. I could not figure out how to make them. So I found them on AliExpress. They come in a number of different colors. So this is a 50 piece set and you get all these different colors. And I absolutely love these bows. These are my absolute favorite. So I had to grab a bunch of those. I'll stick with the bows. So next I have these ones. Look at this really pretty bag they put them in. I thought that was such a nice touch. So anyway, these ones here are glittery. They come in three different, four different colors, I think. So they come in these colors here. I absolutely love the pink, of course. So there are quite a few in this bag, and this was a mix. I got some more of these ribbon bows, just the simple ones. I find that I use certain colors more than others, and so of course I'm running out of those. <laughs> Here are the different colors that these come in. I especially wanted the black ones. Also from the same seller, I grabbed these ones here. These are gold edged ribbons. They come in four different colors. Um, again, it's a mix. And these are the four different colors that they come in. I thought these were absolutely beautiful. I love that gold edge. So that does it for the bows. Next, I wanna show you these ice cream or felt ice creams. These are so, so cute. So I actually thought they would be bigger, but I actually prefer this smaller size. So I was really happy to see these. They come in four different colors. And here they are. Look how cute. So I will be doing my first uh, carousel themed project. So I thought these would be perfect for that. I absolutely love the gold one, the white one too. <laughs> So cute. Next, I have this little container of different colored eyelets. Now, I only had gold, so I really wanted the other colors. I didn't realize that it came in a set like this because it came with the tool that you would use to affix the eyelets. I just really wanted the different colors. <laughs> and it comes with this really cute little case, so that's super handy. I also grabbed these boxes. Now these ones are different sized jump rings. I got the gold and I got the silver. The biggest size is nine millimeters and the smallest I believe is two. And sometimes I find that the nine is not quite big enough. So I do have some bigger jump rings on the way as well. And I will share that with you when I get them. Next I have these flat backs. These 
kind of crystally druzy flat backs. They come in a wide number of different colors. Here are the different colors that come in this mix. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Next, I have some simple silver Eiffel Tower charms. I've This is a repurchase. I bought these before. But look how cute. They're perfect for Parisian projects, obviously. And you get a pack of 10 in here. Next, I have these polka dot flower tassel charms. So these ones here have like, like I said, a polka dot kind of pattern to them. Look how pretty that is. And they have a gold bead cap, I guess. So this is a mix. Oh, I decided to buy two packs because there are a lot of colors that could be included in the mix and so I decided to buy two in case you know I don't get some colors the first time around so these are super pretty next I found these beads and these remind me so much of Chanel they are basically they're pearls with the camellia flower can you see that? I'm hoping that it's focused. I can't tell. <laughs> so these, I think, are 10 millimeter. So they are 10 millimeter, and there are 50 in this lot. I mean, look how gorgeous these are. I can't wait to make some charms out of them. Last thing I have before I show you the dies are these gold leaves. These are so sturdy. I took them out and I couldn't believe it. Like they are so strong. So I think they're about five centimeters. And I just love them. They're so, so pretty. I thought these would be great for Halloween projects as well as some um, the carousel theme project that I'll be working on. So it's a bag of 50. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> Perfect timing too because I'm going to show you the dies I got. So the first die I want to show you is this window die. It's a, just a standard window, but I just thought it was really pretty because it's got this arced top and it's got a number of windows. I thought it would also be really cute if I use it like as a door as well. So I do have my ruler today. I forgot to bring it last time. So for my fellow Canadians, it is about 11 and a half centimeters tall and about close to seven centimeters wide. And for my American friends, that is about two and a half, maybe two and three quarter inches wide and about four and a half inches tall. So super nice die. Next die I have is a happy birthday die. All my happy birthday dies that I have in my stash are like massive and I really wanted a smaller one. This one is super cute. It's very ornate. It's in a script form and it is about at the widest about eight centimeters wide and about six centimeters tall or about three inches wide and about two and a half inches tall. So really, really nice die. Next die I have is a shaker die. It's in the shape of a high heel shoe. And I love anything fashion related, so I had to have this. What's really cool about this is when you cut out the border or the frame for the shaker, it pops out a really, really pretty pump as well. So it's a kind of like a two-in-one, which I thought was really cool. So at the widest, it is about six and a half centimeters and about seven centimeters tall or 
about two and a half inches wide and about two and three quarter inches tall. The next die is a set of banner dies. It come in four different shaped banners, which I thought was really cool. These will be great for layering. And like I said, I will have a project that I will show you using these dies that I show you today. So these ones are about four and three quarter inches or about 12 centimeters. So really nice size. Sticking with the fashion theme, I grabbed this perfume bottle die. It's just one piece and it comes with these two hearts. And it's about four centimeters wide and six centimeters tall or about two, one and a half inches wide and about two and a quarter inches tall. So really cute. This next die I found thanks to Mummy Loves Gigi here on YouTube. She showed this on her channel and I had to have it. One, because it's so cute. Two, because I entered a the card swap that Tamika, who scrapped the world here on YouTube, held earlier this year. And one of the items was to create a gift card holder. I didn't have any die, so I started you know looking around and seeing what was available. And I found this one, again, thanks to Mummy Loves Gigi. It is so cute. So it's in the shape of a mug. It's huge, as you can see. It's a really, really good size. It's got a layering piece and it has the slits so that you can insert the card. It also has this piece here, which is going to be on the top of the mug, you know, to show the inside, the liquid that's in the cup. So at the widest, it is about 22 centimeters wide and about 12 centimeters tall or about eight and a half inches wide and about four and a half inches tall. So a really, really good size. Obviously this folds together to make the card. So once folded, it becomes about four and a half inches wide or about 11 centimeters wide. I love this. I can't wait to create something out of this. The next die I have is so, so cute. It's in the shape of a present. And I think it's to create like a gift album. I thought it'd be cute as a memory deck, to be honest with you. I love this shape. It's also can be used as a shaker, as you can see, because it's got the layering piece. Or you can cut two pieces of pattern paper and that would be really cute as well. It comes with different binding styles. So it comes with these two and it comes with these ones as well. I'm not sure what these ones would actually cut out. So I will have to cut it out to see when I create the project what that does. And I'll show that to you when I'm done. It also comes with this For You die, which I thought was really pretty. That could be used for other projects as well. So at the widest, it is about 10 and a half centimeters wide and about, mm, I'm going to say about 12 centimeters tall or about four inches wide and about four and three quarter inches tall. Really, really nice size. I cannot wait to play with this one. The last dies I have here are from Alina Cuddle. And they are just these kind of border dies. They're scalloped with hearts. And I wanted to create some heart rosettes out of these. And again, I will show that to you when I'm done. So that's what I got from my AliExpress haul today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please stay safe and healthy. And until my next video, have an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.